Hey lovies, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Wendy Mutata. Thank you guys so much for subscribing. Thank you for the likes and comments. Honestly, you guys, you're amazing. And if you have enjoyed the family, just click on the subscription box below and also click the bell next to it so that you don't miss out on any of my videos. Today we're going to talk about a topic that is very sensitive. I know guys, talking about a vagina can be very uncomfortable to many people. But honestly, one way or the other, we have to talk about it. Besides, guys, a vagina is one of the most important part of our body. So literally, no matter how much we try to run away from it, we have to talk about it. So I want us to look at the feminine hygiene hacks, basically the healthcare tips that all women should know about. So I suggest that all women must watch this video. Without wasting more time, let's just get straight into it. Tip number one, don't use any soap. Guys, when you're taking a bath or a shower, make sure that you use water and water only. Because guys, these soaps sometimes can be very harmful or harsh to your vagina. So just to be on the safe side, don't use a soap. Just use water and water only. Tip number two, panties or undergarments. Honestly guys, I know that there are such nice, um, panties that one can get at the store but obviously you must get something that is very comfortable you don't want to buy something that you find it's very uncomfortable but i would encourage a cotton based panties this will definitely help you to avoid infections tip number three after taking a shower or bath please guys avoid rubbing your vagina just make sure that you pat it nicely with your towel make sure that you avoid rubbing your vagina because rubbing your vagina can be really harmful and sometimes it can cause rash or infections so just make sure that when you want to make it dry after taking a shower bath just make sure that you just pat it nicely pat it nicely and then it will be dry so that leads us to tip number four pubic hair i know guys we have different opinions when it comes to pubic hair but one thing that I have learned is that the hair that we have on our skin, most of the time it is used to protect our skin. I once visited my gynae and he advised me um, not to shave off all my hair down there. I know we love using your no hair or other cream that we can use to shave. And yeah, we prefer waxing, we prefer shaving. But I encourage you to trim guys, let's try to trim, than to shave it off or wax. So guys, another tip is sanitizer spray that you can use on the toilet seat. So if you go to any bathroom and you find out that they do not have um, the sanitizer, so obviously you have to use your own. So just make sure that you have a sanitizer spray. And sometimes it can happen that you don't have a sanitizer. You can use your wet wipes. I always make sure that I have wet wipes in my handbag. So if you don't have a sanitizer, you can quickly just wipe your seat before you sit on it. And we all know the amount of infections that can come with toilet seats. So it's very important that we wipe them before we can sit. It's very, very important to avoid any circumstances so let's just make sure that before we sit we use a sanitizer we use wet wipes at all times another tip guys is changing your pads tampons or panty liner imagine you're on your pillows and you are wearing your tampon or your pad the whole day guys you can imagine the amount of smell that comes with wearing a pad the whole day that can smell nice and that will also affect our vagina. Our vagina won't smell nice if we keep wearing one pad or tampon the whole day. I can imagine. No, guys, at least four hours of use, change it and put on some new fresh tampon or pad, you know, just to avoid our vagina from smelling. And again, guys, panty liners. No, we can't wear panty liners all day we literally have to change paint liners too. So guys, if you experience a burning sensation or rash, just make sure that you use a cream that is not going to be harmful to your vagina. And if the rash continues, 
then you must visit your doctor so that you avoid using any cream that can be harmful to your vagina so guys if you liked this video just make sure that you made up that like button and make sure that you subscribe on that red button over there and guys if you know any vaginal healthcare tips let's share them below in the comment section let's engage let's talk about them and you never know it can help another person let's engage let's talk about this thing let us not be shy of talking about them because these are important topics that we should be engaging about I hope these tips will help you guys. Thank you for watching and tell me what you think about the video and what videos you would want me to do and I'll be more than happy to do them. Thank you guys.